Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. And I'm Lita Lepin. And welcome to another edition of Our City Tonight. Well, we're out here in Abbotsford. Sometimes Jim and I take a little bit of a trip outside of yes. our city. And we're at Man Farms, actually celebrating their 40th anniversary. That's right. We're going to come back here a few times throughout the show to tell you more about this historic farm. But first, let's get on with this edition of Our City Tonight. This episode of Spirits Up is brought to you by Evolve Cellars and Time Winery. Well, we're here we are on our first patio segment Yay. since we started the show at the Vancouver uh, Fish Company Restaurant and Bar on Granville Island. And we're here with uh, Krista Lee. I can tell you, it's beautiful over here at this time of the year, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. We've been waiting every we you know, segment. It's like, let's do patio wines. That's and right. It's so exciting to finally have the sunshine here. <laughs> and we do have patio wine. Absolutely. What scream is patio more than rosé, mm, right? Yeah. So for me, one of my absolute favorites, uh, this is our new Evolve uh, Cellars rosé. Yeah. It's 100% Merlot, so all grown on site here. And to me, this is like, it reminds me of a bit of a Jolly Rancher. So when you smell this, <laughs> I know, it smells like Swedish berries, those little candies. Oh. Oh. Right? It smells like summer, too. Yeah, it's it's summer, in a glass. It's summer in a glass. But then you have a little taste, and it's like got this amazing strawberry, watermelon characters, mm. and some cherry, and it's got a little bit of sweetness up front, and you think, oh, this might be a little bit sweet. But then it like, bam, the acidity finishes like a Jolly Rancher. And what to, before we try this now, in the summer, we're always talking barbecue and stuff like that. What cool. would you recommend food wise for, for this uh, wine? Oh, this is just a patio wine. Oh, this it is doesn't just even a patio. need no, no food. food. No food. No food. But food totally allowed. versatile. Like, I'd do a great flat bread, any kind of um, pastas with either a cream sauce or a rose sauce, uh -huh. uh, salads, uh, you know, any of those great summertime dishes. So anything that's grilled too, it's got sort of that, you know, grilled characteristic okay. to it. So there you go. Try it. Cheers. Yeah, there you go. Are you getting that oh, strawberry? Totally. See what I mean? Totally yeah, yeah. Right now. So now, imagine, you know, mm. a good book, a patio. We like to say this has patio poundability. Wow. <laughs> Love that. Aspect, that one. And is this available? Uh, oh, my God, there's a sea lion in the water right now. Oh, there oh, you oh, go. Anyway. See, a little wildlife. Yeah, no, this is, if you're right by the water, this is going to happen. Uh, what, uh, where can people find this? Uh, uh, this is available, yeah, at the winery, at private liquor stores, mm. at Save-On stores, and the VQA stores. Very Wonderful. nice. Uh, Who do we have here with us today? Ah, so I was actually able to drag our director of winemaking, Lawrence, out of the Okanagan. Wonderful. So we're really excited to talk about some of the wines. And so we got some nice weather for you too, Lawrence. Awesome. Thank heavens. Thank you. Yeah, next, next time a tie, right? <laughs> yeah, next time a tie. Make sure the glasses are right, but uh, tie next time. He's a winemaker, no tie. No, no, this is a very particular type of show, CL. So anyway, we got two different types mm. of wines we're going to jump into here, so yeah. you guys take over. Yeah, so we thought exciting having Lawrence here. He can actually talk truly about what he does. He's our winemaker for all three of our brands, McWaters Collection, Evolve Cellars, and Time. And we have some varietals that are the same at some of the wineries, but completely different style. So we're going to start with the Sauvignon Blanc from Evolve. So mm -hmm. very fresh, fruit forward, crisp, acidity. You've got some great gooseberry, <laughs> a little bit of tropical fruit, and it's just it, luscious and rich and juicy. That's what I get it. And, and oh my I should God. say available <laughs> here, too, at the uh, Vancouver Fish Company restaurant, right? Absolutely, and it goes amazing with the food here at Vancouver mm, Fish Company. Great. So. Ooh, look at that. Right? Yes. Now, what am I, what am I, what are we pairing uh, this with, Lawrence? Hmm. Oh, you're pairing with uh, seafood dishes, actually. It was yeah. the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah. And or just on its own. Not, uh, not sea lion, though. No, no. <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely yeah. not the sea lion. <laughs> Is this a brand new? Uh, vintage, because uh, it's available here, as you said, but you can get it on online and at your, yep. your winery as well, right? Yep, that's correct. Yeah. Very nice. So new mm. 2016. So, Wonderful. Lord, you want to maybe tell us a little bit about, we also have another Sauvignon Blanc. So again, some of the things that he does differently. This is Sauvignon Blanc as well, but from time. And this is a new varietal for us. We just are launching it right now. So it's just going into stores. Uh, yeah, so maybe tell us about the difference. 
Yeah, so uh, the, the difference between the two wines is really about the fermentation process. So we're looking for more, a bit more complexity, a bit more texture in the wine. So what we do is we put it in the barrel, um, which allows us to get a bit more weight, a bit more complexity, um, a bit more of those tropical flavors that you don't necessarily yeah, sure. see in, uh, in the Evolve. So. Very nice. Yeah. Right. So completely different. As, as Warren says, I think you're going to find a little bit of oak there. You're gonna, this to like me, two like very two di distinctive tastes, right? right? But same varietal. Yeah. So and <laughs> very same different vineyard too. So kind of exciting, right? Wow. So this is all his influence on this wine. Very nice, Lawrence. For, I, I'm forgiving you for the tie. Actually. <laughs> oh, that is really uh, now, delicious. Uh, your website, obviously, your winery too, right? Yes, yeah? exactly. Very yeah, nice. Absolutely. Two so, great, great summer wines. One of the great patio. You can keep guys taking us to these great spots in town. Right? So, the Vancouver uh, Fish uh, Company uh, restaurant and bar, where you can also find this. Yes. Evolve Cellars. So, guys, thank you and thank cheers. You. Cheers. Cheers Thanks on this so one, Lawrence. Thanks for coming down. Yeah. Cheers. This segment of Spirits Up was brought to you by Evolve Cellars and Time Winery. Cheers. Very nice. Cheers, guys. <laughs> from Vancouver Fish House Restaurant. Hey, this is Jeff Neal from Street Heart, and you are watching Our City Tonight. Zoomer show, and we're really fortunate to be sitting here with a very special guest uh, from, <laughs> well, previously from Coronation Street, and I believe the show started in what, 1961. You've been with them ever since. Oh, that's before my, that's, that's before <laughs> my time. <laughs> no, but she, brings, she brings up a good point. I mean, you, you pretty much grew up on the show, did you not? Yeah, I started when I was 16, and wow. I left when I was 31. So yeah, I've been there 16 years. Holy! How, wow. how great of an acting training ground is that kind of TV show set up? Because you guys are moving fast, are you not? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, the pace is super quick. You don't get, you know, half as much time as you would on a drama or a film. Um, you know, we churn it out so quickly, but the end product and the quality of the work is, you know, amazing for the time we have, um, and that sort of. It's a sort of technique that you have to learn along the way and, and, and pick up pretty quickly, and, and it's a talent, you know, and, and they do it so well. Absolutely, and a very, very popular show. Obviously, uh, you're going to go on and do some spectacular things. Can you share a little bit of what uh, you're looking at? Um, do you know, I, I left to just do things for me and, and, and you know, uh, not for anybody else, and, and I want to try and do a few projects, and I want to, you know, create something that can better me as an actor and um, whatever journey that takes me on, um, you know, I, I wanted, I've never had an audition before. So I've had one <laughs> wow. audition. Wow. I've had one audition in the last 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> recognize that iconic Canadian rock band and I'm here with Jeff Neal, the lead guitar for that incredible band. We're here at Cafe El Nido, one of our favorite restaurants, and uh, spending some time talking about your career. Now you're celebrating your 40th anniversary of touring with Street Heart. That's really exciting. <laughs> it's quite an accomplishment. Uh, again, uh, you know, uh, as I always say, I, I I give our fans, who have been gr wonderful, they've been so supportive for us over the years, uh, Classic Rock Radio, uh, they've kept the culture of, of, of classic rock, rock and roll from the 80s going for, you know, for 40 years, so we're pretty grateful for that. Well, your songs are very recognizable. Uh, I know you've done, you did one fantastic Rolling Stones cover that yes. just hit the roof. It was mm -hmm. a gold single for yes. you, and, uh, but most of the songs have been written, and when you joined the band, you wrote 
Yeah, I all the songs. I, yeah, well, I co-wrote all the songs with all, with uh, with Kenny and Daryl and Spider, and we worked as a collective, and we would bring ideas, but we all contributed to the songs, and uh, so it was nice to be part of the creative process, and uh, it, it, it worked out very well for us. We, we recorded uh, several really, really great records together. No, and I know this because you've been my friend for some time, and whenever <laughs> I've gone to your concerts, when we're so lucky to have you here in Vancouver, mm -hmm. we dance the whole night long. They're, they're all just very danceable tunes, and it's such yeah. a lot of fun. Now, speaking of that, you are going to be here performing here in Vancouver as well as Vancouver Island very soon. Yes, we're going to be on Vancouver Island for the May Long Weekend. Uh, we're going to be at Ambleside Park in West Vancouver August the 18th. Uh, there's a, And that's uh, that's the Friday night. Uh, I think it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday weekend uh, long uh, classic rock concert. So we'll, we'll be there Friday night. And uh, we have a number of shows. We're going from coast to coast this year. We're going from the the Maritimes, Newfoundland, right to Vancouver Island and all points in between. So. Wow, well, you're still very popular and you sell out the venues that uh, you book so it's pretty exciting. We've and been very that, fortunate. But this is your last year. Yes, it is. This is our last year. Uh, Kenny has said this is the last year I want to tour. Uh, you know, we've been doing it a long time, and I think he just wants to make sure that he's always doing his best. And uh, so it's a bit of a celebration for us. It's the 40th anniversary and a chance to say goodbye and thank you to all our fans. Well, wonderful. Well, we look forward to seeing you here in the city and coming out and supporting. Thank you, Lita. Thanks for spending time with us. It's great. Thank you so much. Well, welcome back to our city tonight. We're here in beautiful Abbotsford with, in fact, one of the owners of Man Farms. And how long has your family had this farm? We've been farming here for 40 years. 40. Wow. This is the 40th, 40th year anniversary. Congratulations. Oh my God, wow. that's so a long very time. Yep. It's yeah. 150 years for Canada and 40 years for Man Farms. So it's a monumental year for everybody here. That's beautiful. And you do so many different, um, different things here, not just farming, but you have a great food too. So what kind of food? Well, we do a lot of authentic cuisine as well, so we do have Indian food that we mix with our heritage, but then we also do a lot of uh, commodity-based food, meaning that all the berries that we do grow, so our strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, we mix it into all our baked goods, our pies, oh, um, a lot yeah. of fresh food. You pick is really popular, so people come out and pick their food at the farm, which is a lot of fun. And we should say, for people that have not been out here, I'd never been here before, but you have more than just food and drink here. You can oh, bring yeah. the families out, you've got all kinds of activities for the kids so you can make a day of it, true? Oh yeah, so yeah. people come out here for to visit the baby goats, visit the baby sheep, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. But then also they jump on our jumping pillow, go down our zip line. We have a go-kart track, that the pedal go-kart track they can play on. Um, so so when families do come, they spend yeah, yeah. the entire day. And nice. your brother makes this delicious wine. Yeah, what are we about to try here? <laughs> Tell us about this one. So this wine. is the Montois. This is the Bordeaux blend. So it's a mix of Cab Sav, Cab Franc, and uh, uh, what's that last one? Cab Sauvignon. Uh, right. Cab Sauvignon. It kind of rolls off your tongue a bit. But so that's the Bordeaux blend. It's called Montois. Yeah. Um, signifying three generations of man farms, which we've been through. I'm wow. the third generation. Wow. And also kind of mixing in the whole Bordeaux blend theme. Let me ask you something. If you would have said to your folks, you know, I think I might want to be a veterinarian or something. <laughs> are you expecting? to be in the family uh, 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 You know, my, my parents were really nice. They always wanted me to be passionate about what I did. And, and I actually studied agriculture. I was part of farming oh, since nice. the very beginning. Okay. So I love what I do. And, and I get to, to actually practice what I learned in my, my schooling on a daily basis. Very so nice. I love that. Wonderful. Well, we're going to try this right now. Yeah. All right, cheers. cheers you guys. Man Give farms. it a try. Excellent. Man Farms. Mm, I think that'll be rolling off my tongue as the hey, evening goes there along. there you go. Awesome, that sounds great. I don't think I'll great. be talking a lot either later. It's very <laughs> nice. I'm not going to do all those activities for the kids. I'm just going to enjoy the wine. We're happy to be here. Thanks for Thank the invite tonight. Much. Cheers. Really appreciate having you guys here. So, awesome. Chucky Darn and Slot the Chickens, Jim. Well, I don't know what that means, but I've got a commercial <laughs> break to figure it out. We'll have more of our city tonight right after this. Insozia is a safe and effective sleep aid. Insozia does not use drugs to induce sleep cycles, has no addiction and no tolerance buildup. It is a unique patented formula which includes natural traditional Chinese herbal medicine. Insozia is manufactured in Canada, formulated by doctors with 10 years clinical research, by a manufacturer with 21 years of experience. For more information, go to vivahealthsolutions.com. This health and wellness segment is brought to you by Viva Nutraceuticals. 
He has been a naturopathic doctor in Richmond for nearly 30 years. He's an author. He appears on television. He's a columnist. And you can find his latest book on his website. The Doctor of the Future is here. And he is here with us. He's also a contributor, medical expert, contributor to our city tonight. I'm happy to be here with Dr. Raj Jita. And we're in your office today yes, here in Richmond. For, uh, you know, you're on all the time. And, and every issue we talk about on our show is serious. But yes. this one, as a guy, is particularly serious. And that is the prostate. Can right. you tell? Uh, the men and women out there that what exactly is the prostate and what is its function okay yeah nice to be here Jim thank you uh, so the prostate gland for men it's a small walnut shaped gland that's part of male reproductive health and it's an important gland because it nurtures and neutrifies uh, the reproductive system and it's an, also a gland that can undergo changes as years go by and it's a gland that needs to be uh, prioritized as far as maintaining good optimal health and you were saying is, I mean, I'm getting older, this is something I uh, try to make a habit of doing, is that as you get to the 45, 50 That's age right. group and how important it is for regular checkups. That's right. So with the prostate gland above the age of 45 to 50, it has a natural propensity to get larger, or what we call benign prostatic hypertrophy, which is often what we consider a normal part of aging. Mm -hmm. However, as the prostate swells up, there's a tendency for it to affect normal prostate function, so urinary flow, a higher risk for prostate infections, um, sexual function, and so on. But also, as a prostate swells up and as we age, there's the risk of prostate cancer. And prostate cancer for the prostate, obviously, is something that's um, a leading cause of mortality for men. Mm -hmm. um, and it's something that needs to be addressed. It can also be assessed quickly, efficiently, and if caught early, prostate cancer now is perfectly treatable. Yeah, compared to say when my grandfather was my age, uh, it, there have been great advances, but you've got to right. get there early. That's, that's, that's right. the message we really that's want right. to convey today. That's right. uh, and there are, there are no uh, surefire prevention treatments or anything, but y you talk a lot about, uh, as a naturopath, there are strategies that you can, right. you can follow. Can you help us with that and explain that to our, our Okay, uh, no problem. So as a naturopathic physician, obviously I'm not a urologist, so our strategy for prostate health is to employ nutraceuticals, or naturally occurring plant substances, fruits and vegetables that aid in prostate health. So they can actually help to shrink the prostate, as we discussed earlier, so improve prostatic flow, uh, reduce the risk of prostate infection, uh, bladder function problems, sexual function. So these plant substances are common. Mm -hmm. For example, things such as pumpkin seed, avocados, uh, um, um, soya bean extracts. These are fruits, vegetables, and seeds that have been known to shrink the prostate. We use, the, we use those uh, in, in pill forms or, or capsulated products to help aid prostate health. And so I think the message you want to convey, is, uh, certainly I do today, is, is the regular checkups are paramount. That's right. The prevention, number one rule. Right? Absolutely. So prostate health is important. It's a, a gland that's you know usually evaluated through the rectal area. So it's uncomfortable for men, but also very important to know that if you have a strong family history mm -hmm. or above the age of 50, the regular exercises can be the difference between life or death for people because as I said earlier, evaluating the prostate early and efficiently can lead to treatments that can, uh, the cure rate is phenomenal, 80, mm -hmm. 90 percent. Yeah. So without that regular evaluation, uh, if prostate cancer spreads, uh, the, the prognosis is a lot more bleak. Well, regular checkups, everybody out there. And, and before we go, I should mention, we, we have you on all the time. You've been a practicing uh, naturopathic doctor. You sit in, for 30 years now, and people can see you. Of course, they can get your book. They can right. see your columns. He does other TV shows. We don't like to say that, but uh, we can't uh, have him exclusive because he's that, that good. Uh, just go to your website for all the information they can find on you. Yeah, absolutely. I've been in Richmond for close to 30 years. I've written this book, so people can go to my website, get access to the content of the book, and help empower themselves to take charge of their health. Always a pleasure, sir. Thanks pleasure. for joining us, and thank pleasure. you for your thoughts and expertise on you. this important subject matter.
Lita, I've never been to this event before. What can we expect tonight? It's an amazing event, actually. It's held to, well, proceeds all go to help change my city, which is an amazing charity that I'm actually particularly fond of because sure. I've been involved for several and years. You actually modeled and wrote about this, did you? Yeah, not? I yeah. love this because they actually give back right to our city. I mean, a lot of times you give to charities and you never know where it yeah, goes, and sure. this one gives right back to our own community, and it's spectacular. There's dancers and performers, and there's fashion designers that give up their time, so viewers are going to see quite an extravaganza tonight. Well, and we're kind of getting exclusive behind the scenes before the event gets going tonight, but we're going to let them get ready. You're going to talk to the uh, the founder of this uh, charity Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, and find a little bit more about, um, about how this got started. Okay, let's go check out this great evening called Little Black Dress. Change My City, you've done so many great things for this cause. Can you give us a little bit of an idea of what exactly this charity is all about? Yes, indeed. This charity is about helping young people. So we work with young people who are in the community, who are homeless, but we also work with young people who are in schools. So what we do is personal leadership, personal and leadership development. What I love is that you actually help people right in our city. I mean, we give to so many charities and, and we never know where it goes. This goes directly to helping people that, you know, in, in effect that we know and we get to meet. So how many years has this um, charity been operating? Well, the charity has been operating since 2012, but I've actually been giving back in Vancouver since I was 19 years old. Wow. And uh, what happened was I was uh, I was sponsored to go to school in Vancouver when I was 12 years old. Wow. And uh, so I decided that I want to make a difference, first of all, in my country, but also make a difference in Canada, the country that's given me great opportunity. My mother always told me that you're not truly successful and until you're being able to say you're able to take care of yourself those people around you and beyond so that's how long I've been giving back since I was 19 years old in Vancouver wonderful well I've loved this charity I've, I've actually been a part of it as writing for it and I was Thank actually you. modeling one year and Thank I just you. love this and it is really special for our Thank city you. and we really appreciate all that Thank you're doing you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Well, let's stay in age of making movies and television. It's not always the easiest or the orthodox way to find your way to success. A guy sitting between Lita and I is proof of that. Jeff Cassidy has been in the TV industry for some time, but recently did a short that has catapulted him up the ladder. Here's a little look. I don't care. Oh, really? You don't care? Because you should. Because this one's different. In fact, it just may be the greatest story of all time. His name is Captain Strong. And his nemesis, Darkman. The two have been enemies since the beginning of time. So you got a lot of great names uh, participating in your short. How did that happen? Uh, blackmail. <laughs> no, I, I've worked with these actors in one capacity or another over the years and I sent everyone the script and basically they really responded to the material. Wonderful, great. It's got a real, like I mean, it seems as a film critic I see like a superhero movie every other week, but it's got a really nice father-son element and Lena and I were watching it saying, man, it's really touching and to put all that into about a 10 or 11 minute film is no easy task. Right. Uh, yeah, we. I mean, I wanted it to be ten minutes, and it just sort of uh, it expanded to about fifteen <laughs> minutes. And uh, I knew it wasn't the most. At fifteen minutes, is kind of a mm. format that's maybe not uh, the most uh, sought after for mm. film festivals and stuff like that. But I figured the content sort of merited the story, and we would just put it online and see what happened. Where can people see the short? Uh, you can go to YouTube and just write Sidekick 2016 and. Uh, Hopefully it'll be the first thing that pops up. Beautiful. Thanks for joining us here at Cafe El Nido. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. So, folks, we've had a great time here at Man Farms out in Abbotsford. What a great evening. We had a great day here. And you know what's great, Lita? Uh, we all travel around the world, but you really need to get out into your own backyard and see stuff. This is just, you know, 45 minutes from downtown Vancouver. We've had a great day today. Uh, we are finishing up our show and our time here with some marshmallows. And I'm you're doing that. I'm holding on to the wine. That's your dessert, I suppose. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Now get them down there. They're not going to roast that way. <laughs> okay. Well, that does it for this edition of Our City Tonight. I'm Jim Gordon. I'm Lita Leithen. We will see you next time on Our City Tonight. Get those back down there. We can roast these, would you?